Hello and welcome to Fanta Tracks TV. Back again today to have a look at the Black Series Star Wars Force FX Riot Control Button. And what a beast it is too. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We post videos every Wednesday and every Saturday without fail. And if something exciting happens, we try and post in between as well. Right, that's useful for that. Now, onto this. Now, I've avoided getting this because over here in the UK it's cost over £200 which seems a lot of money. It is a lot of money, and that's why I haven't got it. But they did an offer on Amazon USA for $99. Um, and then I could pay a bit more to get it shipped over, but it worked out quite cheap compared to buying it over here. So that's why I've just got it now. I think Amazon at the moment are actually doing it for $89.99, but of course that could change at any minute. But I'll post a link and then you can have a look yourself. Right, let's have a look and see what this looks like. Ugh. Okay, so we've got the, the baton on the front with a stormtrooper using it. Is it going traitor? Probably. And it also says, don't forget your three times AA batteries. So I won't forget them. I'll get them in a minute. Um, it says pincher is enhanced to show light effects. So I hope it's not that um, different from this. And I'll open it up in a second. But on the side, force effects right control button. Black Series logo on the edge. Oh. Force FX right control button. Force FX. If I flip it over here, of course it's heavy. It's telling me that's the barcode, which I know you like to look at, so there it is. And then on the back, oh, as I flip it over again, it just has a detailed picture of it. It has some Orabesh, which I can translate at some point. So does that. There's a schematic of it. And then it says on the back, number eight, Force Effects Riot Control Button. The First Order's Stormtroopers are trained in riot control tactics and the use of non-lethal equipment such as the Z6 Button. This, oh, sorry, the Button has a magnetic grip can be spun in combat and delivers a stunning shock. Troopers often use it in conjunction with a, a beta plast riot shield. On Tarkanada, FN-2199 used a Z6 baton against the for his former stormtrooper comrade FN-2187, better known as Finn. Later, Finn once again wields the powerful electrifying weapon, this time to clash with his former commander, Captain Phasma. So there you go, there's the blurb. Now if I flip it around again, hopefully this is the last time, you'll see that the actual front lifts up. Oh, gives you a nice preview of what the, the button looks like before I take it out of the box. Tells you that it's got a display sand written there and shown there. It says self-releasing flip out prongs. I know that's what everyone wanted. Real metal handle, motorized vibrations, for an authentic home movie sounds, and realistic light effects, which we'll have a look at. And then as I drop that down, you can see on the lid, shows you a full scale picture, another picture of Stormtrooper, and another description. It says First Order Stormtrooper, sorry, First Order Riot Control Stormtrooper. Armed with specialised weapons, the First Order's riot control stormtroopers are trained to subdue crowds in the most ruthlessly efficient manner possible. Well, in a probably ruthlessly inefficient way, I'm going to now unbox this and have a look. Okay, so now I've taken it out of the box. You can see I've got it strapped in there. It's in a nice plastic container, but most importantly, here are the instructions. It's got the main thing here. It's got the stand there. And it's got some, I think, accessories to the stand here. But I'll have a look at the instructions and it will tell me what to do, I'm sure. So let's have a look. To install the batteries, basically you unscrew the bottom, just like you would a Force FX lightsaber. So I'm gonna go off and do that right now. So according to this, I just twist the end here. There we go. And contained within there, there should be a capsule. There it is. You then slip the batteries in like so. One, two. 
ah, three, and pop it back in. Simple. Okay, here we are. The finished built item. Um, it feels a little bit lightweight to be honest with you. For the money, I was expecting something a lot more, uh, what's the word, significant. But there we go. Um, it's a good idea, but again, I've had a little test of it, I'm not that impressed. So we've got a safety here, that means if it's locked on there, nothing can happen, these won't open, etc. Not that that's the biggest problem I've got anyway, because if I do the unlock and I turn it on by pushing this button here, quite nice, don't mind that. And then the idea is you push this button again and these flip out. But when I say push this button on mine, I have to do this. And even then it didn't fully go out. There we go. So making nice sound effects, got some nice lights there, but it doesn't really ping out in the way that you would hope, unfortunately. But there we go. So really glad I didn't spend $200 on this, uh, 200 pounds even on this, which is even more. I still think it's probably worth about 50 quid, to be honest with you. About $60, if that. But there we go, you can't win them all. Quite nice on display. What I'll do is I'll take some footage of it just on display on its rest, and then you can have a look and make your own minds up. So there you go, I hope you enjoy the uh, video you've just watched. We'll be posting videos every Wednesday and every Saturday, guaranteed. Or if there's some news or some new stuff comes in, we might do some things in between there as well. But make sure you subscribe, um, then you'll get the notifications that come through, and uh, see you next time. <laughs>